Have y'all seen this video going around? I'll make sure to link the full video in the description box. But y'all need to watch and listen to how he speaks about women. And if you're a black woman, you will hear the exact same terminology coming from BMs that you're here coming from this man. So watch this clip. Watch the following woman's clip who is a Polynesian woman. And then yeah, just drop your comments on the back end and let me know what you think. I'm sure you know what I'm going for. They definitely get testy when they feel disrespected too, like the uh, the, the Polynesian women. Like when my girl feels disrespected, she'll she'll just put me on the silent mode, silent treatment, whatever. Yeah. I'll go to the gym, I can figure it out. I'll blow yeah. some steam off in another way, yeah. and I'll let her decompress on her own. But I know like when when poly women go through uh go go through their modes, like it, they they can turn the heat up a little bit. This is why Polynesian women are masculinized so much from society, through the media, and from our own men. A lot of Polynesian men have adopted this racial ideology rooted from colonization that white women have more of a capability of being more feminine than Polynesian women. But the difference is that we, a lot of Polynesian women, grew up in households where we were held at different standards and expectations than the men. A lot of Polynesian women have grown up to be very hyper-independent because not only have they grown up taking care of themselves, but they grew up taking care of the whole household. When Polynesian men create content like this, it continuously perpetuates this image that Polynesian women are like violent, masculine, like it's so weird because it's like, did y'all not just see what Aradna came out with talking about domestic violence? And people are basically desensitizing that Polynesian women, oh, you can probably do all that because she just, she punches like a dude, she acts like a dude. Like, that's, it's so weird. Why do y'all do that? Just yesterday, I was tagged in this post that was saying that BMs are the only people who never have anything to say about women of their own race, especially their girlfriends and wives. And I'm on TikTok. I have seen this whole thing with this man talking, this Polynesian man talking about he doesn't date Polynesian women and Polynesian women are too masculine and he only likes male sapien women. So I, I'm on TikTok. I see how these men these non these non white men go for their come for their women how the male sapien women are the preference and it always comes back to white women being the standard of femininity even if that is just a fairy tale they have been edified and put on such a high pedestal that all of these melanated males who have been conquered through colonization, has a colonization of their minds, and we women of that particular cohort get get the short end. We get talked about. We get talked about on these podcasts. And TikTok has made it evident that this is what they talk about. The women are the problem and the prize are the white women. So this is not just a black thing this is not just a polynesian woman thing it's these males who are conquered in a white supremacy culture and instead of punching up into a system that has colonized their people they punch down to the women and then they covet the white women that have been pedestalized and yes women melanated women we're all living a very parallel life the, the way that these men come for us. We're living a parallel life. They are saying the exact same things. It's just that we don't listen to enough of women's um, issues and what they are saying in their communities to know and understand that the dustiness is global. It knows no race, no ethnicity, no profession. The dust is global.